the boy. Can you say E.T.? E.T. 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 Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to CBBC. Now, you may be wondering where Andy is. Well, to tell you the truth, he's still down in the props department with Ed trying to persuade him to come back up. They give me all this junk. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I'll just tell you what's on this afternoon instead. We're starting with Henry's cat. Of course, we've got Blue Peter later and News Round and Maid Marian's coming up. But now, Henry's cat. <laughs> Can't whistle anyway. There'll be another Ed the Dark massive pantomime next year. But now, take two with Philip. Take two again, welcome to you and also to our studio audience from Barnhurst Junior School in Irith. Hi to you and also Robra School, Godalming and the Liverpool Playhouse Theatre School. It's nice to have you in the studio. Welcome along. We've a festive feel to today's programme, not only the way it looks but also what's in it. Behind the scenes, something that you've already seen quite a lot of and will see a lot more of in the next week. It's the Christmas programme's animation. Brendan Norman Ross from BBC Graphics explains the thinking and effort behind it we decided to uh, utilize the idea of a pop-up book. Um, on television it looks like um, it's a normal um, everyday book with a little bit more of um, special magic inside it. Um, but indeed the scale for that book has to accommodate um, a major magician here. These stages um, for the animation would have been developed first of all through the storyboard stage um, like this. Uh, this would have been presented to Jonathan Powell, uh, controller of BBC One. Altogether, there were about 20 people involved in the project, and the animation took about five days to shoot. The camera that we use to achieve the results that you see on television is a fairly sophisticated piece of machinery. What uh, most people don't realize is that to achieve the levels of um, animation that you see, you actually have to shoot and reshoot several multiple layers and indeed on Christmas on BBC One there were about nine layers of film. So for example you'd have the first animation run which is the uh, characters like this. You have all the smoke runs with the lights pushing out of the book, that's another run. Um, you have Santa Claus on his bike, you have the animation with the set itself, another run. And as you run back and keep on filming those, um, you put it onto a machine called um, Harry and that um, basically sandwiches all the pieces of film together to give us our single frame, which is what you see on TV. And if you look carefully at that animation, you might be able to spot just a couple of hidden touches. A snowman in the hourglass at the bottom of the stairs, and you've got to spot this one quite carefully, an E.T. lookalike passing over the moon in the window, to name but two. You can see if you could spot them if you wanted to. Now.